If you like this video, why not subscribe? Hey everybody, welcome back to the Frugal Filmmaker Tip of the Month. Today we're going to talk about circuit testers. And if you're wondering why we're talking about this, it's because if you are ever in a location that has an outlet that you want to plug into, you might want to check it for power first. That way you're not wasting time by plugging things in and realizing, hey, this doesn't work. Oh, that outlet's dead. I got to move it, blah, blah, blah. These will allow you to check the outlets without having to lug, lug around anything heavy to do it, like a light. Um, first, I'm going to talk about this one, basically a voltage tester. This will tell you if there is just, just if there is power at an outlet, you plug these two probes into the positive and negative, and this lamp will come on if you have power. Pretty simple, pretty cheap, about 2 to $3 at Walmart or a, depart or a hardware store or whatever. Fits in your pocket, it's light, but that's all it does is tell you if there's power. Now, I'm actually going to recommend something a little more expensive. This is a circuit tester. I got this at Walmart for a whole $5. But what this does is not only will it tell you if there is power, but it will tell you the integrity of the outlet you're plugging into to make sure that it's wired correctly. That way, if you have something expensive like a light or a computer or an audio recorder or a camera, you might not want to plug it into a bad outlet. So this is a good way to check it because this will not tell you if the outlet is wired correctly, but this will. You simply plug it in and you have three indicator lamps on the back and depending on how they come on in what order and just refer to this key here on top of uh, the circuit tester will tell you. So it'll tell you if there's an open ground line, open neutral line, if it's open hot line, if the ground or the hot and the ground line are reversed or if the hot neutral line are reversed. Another thing I like about this is it's just kind of a solid robust piece of plastic. It's heavier plastic than this. If you st were to step on this, you'd probably break it. You have a hard time breaking this, I think, unless you threw it against a brick wall or ran over it with a car. So it's much more solid. Plus, I like the uh, one-handed operation of this. You could be walking around testing outlets while carrying something in your other hand, like a light or a stinger or what have you, where this takes a little more effort as far as you might have to use two hands for this because these flop around and it's just not as handy as this. Um, this is obviously better built than this. So there's several advantages. You're just spending a couple of dollars more, but I highly recommend this circuit tester over this. But they are both valuable, both valuable if you are on set checking power. So that's it. These are circuit testers. If you don't have a Walmart or a hardware store near your house, I'm going to leave you with alternatives in the description below. So check that out. And this has been the Frugal Filmmaker Tip of the Month.